real quick, so uh, no gameplay yet. Oh man, like I'm beating this game today. Sand screw king, it's sand drill. You misspelled sand drill. How? I'll find this last hammerhead. Bye. First ball, I just like to make it clear that I am perfectly capable of uh, running this show alone and absolutely know how to work this computer by myself. Shut it, Jared, I'm getting to it. But you, loyal listeners, should know that I choose not to. I'm getting to it. And that's why I have decided of my own accord, that's enough, Jared, to bring my assistant Jared, back to just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson operation. And to apologize to him on the air what I'm doing now. Right now. And are you serious? Are you really doing this right now, you little... <sighs> and to give him a raise. Two seconds. In soon for more Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson. All units, shoot out in progress. Please respond. Additional officers needed at Carnegie Hall. Please copy. I never thought I'd find myself feeling sympathy for the mud. Here I am. What's a spider to do when the lesser of two evils is also kind of evil, you know? Oh, I guess huh. it was wishful thinking that those hammerhead thugs would disappear. Because look. Yeah, I'll tell you what they're doing. Took three minutes. Well, actually, two minutes, but still. Took a long time for it to go ahead and give me one climb. Hammerhead's ripping the streets apart with this gang war. Woo! Hey. All right, everybody out of the pool. This isn't your problem, Spider-Man. We don't need your stable junk to send you crawling back where you came from. Yeah, I'm gonna just use my webs to kill you guys. More of you guys? Bet. Yo, I heard there was a guy over here. He was ugly and he's dead. This is 
Hold on to that guy. Thugs would disappear with their boss. One more. Backup requested for a possible Magia execution in progress. Mobilize on Garvey Park. Over. Hey. Who said you guys could do executions on my walk? You guys are gonna have to come up with a better evil plan than this. Well, you tried it. Thanks, Spider-Man. That was close. I told you very easy. That loser. If I ever see James. Don't worry. Police will pick you up in a bit. Thank you, Spidey. Spider clans? What? Oh, nice. I look like I'm from a manga. Nice. Well, um, later, losers. Time to go do the DLC. That's DLC. Haha. <laughs> Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city. And the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Magia Don Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note, follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target Sable, weaponry, and vehicles including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bio-enhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super-soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we gonna do when we find him? I have chicken nuggies. Hey, MJ. I'm following the police to an Oscorp plant. Sounds like Hammerhead's guys are at it again. Got any updates on Yuri? Nothing yet. You miss her, don't you? Yeah. You're a good team. I mean, not like me and you, but, you know. I know. So listen, I've got a source at Oscorp. They're ramping up production of this Project Olympus equipment, which is probably why Hammerhead's men are attacking that plant. The Olympus contract is for Sable International, part of a deal she made with Osborne during the Devil's Breath Crisis. And I just learned it's all supposed to be shipping overseas to Simcaria. Simcaria, Silver Sable's home country. And also the site of an increasingly bloody civil war. Have you heard about this? No, I'm not really caught up on international news. Been a little busy with our own war here in New York. It's a hell of a story. I'll fill you in when we have more time. Yeah. It'd be nice to talk about something other than Hammerhead for a while. What do you think about taking a vacation when all this is over? Vacation? I'm not sure I know what that word means. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But seriously, we both need it. I'll start doing some planning. Let me know what happens to that Oscorp plant. It will do. I don't know why, but I really like Spider-Man. Mainly because of his joke and how he's like, this? I don't even know what that means!
Let me introduce you. Vinny, this is Vinny. Vinny, Vinny. Why is nobody laughing? Wait, maybe you're not laughing because you guys really are all named Vinny. If that's the case, nice to meet you, Vinny. And Vinny. And so are you other Vinnies. Thank you. I got hit with a rocket. And no, it was not a raccoon. Few people get that reference. But that's too. I have a video. Does it mean to watch this one? Then I forgot. But now I remembered it. Does not oh hello ambush guys where'd your buddy go hey guys we be news here and today we're going to be discussing the unused executions of super danganronpa another two and i'm going to be ranking them from my least favorite to my favorite also i am going to be including the chapter five executions for sora yuki aroha and yuruko since we only got sequences of those executions rather than experiencing them in their entirety also lanuge did include their descriptions in the unused execution section of the character sheets so it just feels right to consider them unused execution since the creator obviously does but yeah, please do leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this video. No one's talking, huh? Maybe, Maybe you just can't hear me over the sound of those jetpacks. Yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Cool jetpacks, guys. Where do I get one? Let me guess. They fell off the back of the truck, right? You know, instead of stealing everything, you guys should try making your own stuff. It's much more emotionally rewarding. Maybe you wouldn't be so angry all the time. I like how your leaders is just like, yep, this is just going again after describing this execution. It's like even he's not excited about it anymore. I don't think I really have to explain the describing this in this place. It's of course the same execution that Maggie is through in Dying Rock 1. And it was also a big piece of unused execution from Dying Rock and another. Honestly, I thought it was kind of lazy to reduce it for him. So just reading it again for the real UP2, it just feels good to learn. I do find it interesting how this execution is used to not be used to the fact of talent. Yuki does have a major inferiority complex when it comes to his talent and feeling like he's worthless compared to the other students. And I feel like his execution is emphasizing the fact that, you know, when Nagi was in his execution, his luck saved him. But for Yuki, well, you know, he doesn't really have a talent, so nothing's gonna save him here. Granted, I don't think Yuki can say he's going to how this execution is mocking him, since, you know, he doesn't know that Nagi went through the same exact execution. And I feel like since he can't fully really grasp how it's mocking him, the intention behind this execution feels weaker than many of the others that I'm about to cover. Overall, though, I think it would have been more interesting just to create method to making him feel his inferiority to the others before his death, but that's just my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Number 10 is Taria Otre's execution. New, genuine, luxury golden box. Otre is pulled by chains to a room that says do not approach. Terrifying mangers are hosting inside. Hey, hey, hey! Come closer. I dare you! Now, is that just a regular dare or a double dog? 
stair. Is that yours? No. But it would be so awesome if it was. Time no see. Who do you work for? <laughs> he works for Hammerhead. Where is this Hammerhead? Whoa, whoa! Can't we like go grab a coffee and catch up like normal people? By the way, I love your new hovercrafty thing. Tell me everything you know. Yeah, I talk a lot better without a gun in my face. You have three seconds. Just put the guns down. One. We really gonna do this? Two, six, nine, eleven, three. Seventy-seven. <laughs> <laughs> I love Spider Man, just that 11 7 Hey, I said talking, not fighting. Sable, you seem a little stressed. Can we do some relaxing breaths? In, out, in, out. Tell me where to ah, find Hammerhead. But if we stop punching each other, maybe we can work together. Together? Never. What did I do wrong here? Wait, have you been listening to Jameson's podcast? You are supposed to be the protector of this city. And yet you have allowed this hammerhead to steal all of my weapons and supplies. I didn't allow anything. I'm trying to stop him from stealing your stuff. Then you are failing. Badly. Oh, that hurts. Oh, you're not wrong. Who knows? Perhaps you are secretly working with him. Wow. Now I'm insulted. I do not know you. Obviously. And I do not trust you. You will stay out of my way or suffer the consequences. Stay out of your way while you do what? While I find and kill Hammerhead. Good luck with that. He doesn't die so easily. He has not met me. Unless he was shot in the head, he ain't gonna die. <laughs> You started this fight, not me. What happened to you? I Your thought you were a good guy. I am good as well. Yachtineer Monaco presents the first item and buyers well, and not purchase the, the wares. The wares are put in boxes What's with special marks on them. And as the auction ah! finishes with the sixth wear, successful bidders all simultaneously open their boxes as if to boast their goods. <sighs> in one of the boxes is what a five up you can thank me by not dying. and the rest are empty. Bidders who bought empty boxes are furious, and they protest the auctioneer Monokuma who runs away. A riot occurs, and the bidders storm the box Otri is in and rip him apart. After a few moments, the buyers hey, take their favorite pieces so guess who's boxes back in town. and leave with a satisfied expression. Meanwhile, the roughened up buyer who received the original Otri raises a white flag as the screen goes dark at the bloody auction house. So, this one is a twist on Juria's unused execution for John Rampa Another One. The main difference between the two um, is that in the first one, two, he's torn apart by Monokuma, four, in the room labeled Do Not Throw, and in this one, he's torn apart by the bidders on screen. This one is definitely more gruesome than the Danganronpa Another One, in my opinion, considering that you actually see him get ripped apart. But honestly, I prefer I'm the gonna original one. Here. I felt like the biggest appeal so of that execution was the mystery aspect of what's in the box.